quickly out here and the people that have joined us out here today were with the Spins, the Occupy, Vernal, and Occupy, Noe, uh, to bring to the forefront the situation of the Tuskegee Airmen, Ben Reed, who is going to be put out of his house if a humanitarian effort is not uh, made to help him out. And there are so many other people that are going through the same foreclosure situation. We're in front of Moab not against MOAD, but using it as an example for people to understand that organizations like the Wells Fargo, they give poultry donations to the arts organizations, and they use that for a public relations ploy that they're doing good for the community. So on one hand, you have them giving pennies to arts associations, and on the other hand, you have bank robbery occurring where they're stealing homes from Americans because a humanitarian solution can be developed so that people can stay in their homes and the banks can get their money. So here we are on the day that Martin Luther King is being honored and also the day that the 44th president has been inaugurated. And in his speech he said that as Americans that we need to take care of the least of these. In our consideration, Ben Reed and the many people in their homes that are not standing up, that are, are just cowering because they're gonna be put out at, at any particular time. These are the least of these. When you have a 90-year-old Tuskegee Airman who is about to lose his home and negotiations with Wells Fargo Bank have stalled, there's something wrong with that picture. There is time for economic justice. There are things that can be done so that people can, homes can be saved. Morally, when you look and Google and you see Wells Fargo Bank that's been involved in all sorts of things from the slave trade, they've been involved with money laundering, and they have uh, been uh, involved with a settlement, a $175 million settlement uh, with the Department of Justice. When those kinds of things happen, you know that they have moved from their moral center. And so we're here today to remind them to come back to be humanitarian, to do something to help people save their homes. And especially for African American and people of color, a home is a way to translate generational wealth. And if they don't work out things with someone like a Tuskegee Airman, what are they gonna do for other people? And as a result, people are gonna be pushed out of their homes, and especially in San Francisco, that's very difficult because there's a limited amount of affordable housing. So we're adding to the homeless population here. So we're appealing to Wells Fargo Bank out here in front of Moab, the Museum of the African Diaspora, asking them, please take a look. There's a way that you can get your money and humanitarian do so, so that Ben Reed, a Tuskegee Airman, and other families that are suffering will be able to stay in their homes. And there are other people here today that are going to talk about what they're going to do as well. Thank you. What are you asking?